Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been fishing and come up against a spot where there's like a big wood pile, a lot of debris, or thick brush that's, that's flooded, or some logs, something that looks barely penetrable, and more so if you look at it, you're like, man, if I can get a lure in there, there might be a fish. There probably is a fish, but if I hook them, I don't know how I'm going to get him out of that stuff. It's, there's just no way. Have you ever come across one of those? Well, what do you do? You think, okay, I'll, let me find a spot I can get close near it so I can be able to get that fish out if it does bite. Uh, you know, find a little opening, something where I can get a fish out of. My wife doesn't do that. She just looks at it and says, I'm going to make that cast. And then we'll kind of, you know, wing it after that if the fish hits. <laughs> so the following is one of those episodes. We were fishing along this bank, came across this muskrat hut, which we've fished it many, many years. This muskrat's been there for quite a while. He's had plenty of time to build it up with a lot of big branches and sticks from trees. And there's this big wood debris that comes about seven to nine feet out away from the bank. And it's thick. Well, my wife made a cast right up against the bank. So what you see next is what it took for us to get this fish out. Now, I, it's all real time. There's a few edits in it, but I didn't edit out any, any of the stuff we did. It's actually, a, the, it's in full real time. And the reason I did that is so you can see just how long it took to get this fish as well as, you know, what, how, what we did to get it out. And it's, we had to get pretty creative here. So watch this. I got fish. Well, now what? I don't know. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a power in there, first of all, the trolling motor. Hold on, maybe I didn't. Maybe I had one in an off now. Now, she had him pinned up against the wood pretty hard, oh, so he it. couldn't move very well. Yeah, that fish really couldn't some... fight. Here, take his pin. Is it pinned? He's got him pinned. Grab a rod, a rod. Grab some of these sticks. Yeah, okay. Here, let me do this. Just hold him. Just hold him. First, we tried to use the net to move the wood out of the way. Use the net. Rod very well. He's pinned. Now, if you notice here, every time I use the trolling motor to get in there, it would just compress all those sticks, branches, and wood debris. And would act like a giant spring and would just push us right back out again. There you go. They're getting it. It's funny, the, dig the digger. And of course. 
course, when all the wood was compressed, it would close any hole we could pull the fish through. Up in the too. They could lift them up through it. Time to bring in the reinforcements, a stiffy pole. Now, a stiffy pole, if you haven't seen it before, it's a push pole, and we use it for getting through the shallow areas on this lake. It comes apart in two pieces for storage. Here I am grabbing it from where it's stored from behind the seats. That's what I was gonna do with the net. I was gonna stick the net um, down in there and loosen the logs in between there. And And now I'm putting it together. It screws together. Perfect. Now let's see if we can use yeah, this yeah. as a tool to remove the debris. We had an idea. Push the boat right up against all that wood debris and then drop the power poles to hold us against all that wood debris so it wouldn't push us back Step out. Right well, it worked. Yep, there you go. Okay, we're stuck. At this point, we're sure that fish is gone. Elvis has left the building. That fish is gone. Yeah, he is gone. I see the... Hold on, hold on. Just stop. Stop. We just want the lure back at this point. Wait a minute. Really? You know what? There's a fish still on there. Really? I'm not kidding you. How in the hell can that be? I let, the, I let it drop. There it goes. Come on, fish move. Yeah. Here, give me that. Give me the stiffy pole. You hold him. Because I can't see where he is. He's underneath that one log. So switch with me. You hold this. 
I, I broke the bail. All right, Carrie has a better angle at, at that blocking I stick to try to get it out of the way. And I think I can get a better... Oh, he is still there, isn't he? All right, hold on. Don't move. I need to get this thing down here. I need to As you can see, this is a full-on team effort. There he comes. Holy cow. There's a story for okay. your If that's not a testimony to... Cigar, Cigar floor flipping. flipping. <laughs> That's floor flipping for you right there. Wow. We got that all on camera too. <laughs> <laughs> That's that same little fish I think that tried to eat Look it before. That. Little gut on him, man. You had him pinned. He was he's tired. He's tuckered out now. No, that sun comes out. I'm warm. There we go. <laughs> that was a team effort to get him out of there. Look at that belly on that dude. All right, let's let him go. Yeah, he's tired. Let him go. Let him go out here. He can go back and hide under there later. <sighs> Poor little guy. He's like, I'm going to go sleep now. Yep. Nope. I'm gonna go right back in there. Wow. Unbelievable. Absolutely. All right, guys. Absolutely unbelievable here. This is that cigar flipping floral and the new Akuma Goba Gobi bait that that fish was caught on is still tied on. Look at this line. There's not a mark on it. Not a mark. All of that. And you can go right back to fishing if you want to. We're going to retie anyway just to be sure, but that's that new Gobi bait from uh, Savage Gear, not Akuma, from a Savage Gear. Not a mark on that line. Unbelievable.